So we kind of knew all through dating, all through engagement, mm -hmm. everything that, okay, don't rate guy the F is the only way. <laughs> You don't know how long it's gonna take. No. So, especially with donor IVF, mm -hmm. it's just you never know. It could be forever. For anything. With and financially, I mean, those of you who've been through it, which a lot of our followers have been, it's thirty, forty thousand dollars to go through mm -hmm. it. That, especially for doing donor IVF, because you have to buy eggs. So, yeah. um, so with this financial burden that we knew that yeah. it was gonna be a lot of money, we all of a sudden saw this contest. Come so, October. There was this contest that we could enter that would cover twenty five thousand yeah. dollars. So it was through our local radio station. Um, they do it every single year. It's called the Maybe Baby Contest. Mm -hmm. um, it's a it's the largest radio station in Utah. They're super popular. They do it every single year. Um, they were offering twenty five thousand mm -hmm. dollars to a couple to do IVF treatments. Mm -hmm. And you submit a video yep. of your story, basically, yep. and. I then, remember Shan calling me and just going, hey, we should do this contest. And I was like, why not? It can't mm -hmm. hurt. Yeah. <laughs> and so we submitted our video and then it was based on votes. So, well, you submit your video mm -hmm. um, and then they select a pool of people from that mm -hmm. who they think, you know, would be best. And it was like, what, 25, 30 couples? No, 20. 20. And then it was the 20. top 20 couples from those videos to be in like a public voting system. For like a month. For a month. Three, it was literally... A month long. It was so It long. was so stressful because every day you could have one vote. So yeah. we were every asking day, people to each vote. Every day email address could have one vote. Mm -hmm. So we were asking everyone yeah. to vote, asking, reminding people every single day to vote. Yeah. This was huge. Putting it on social media, putting it on every single day. We had a Facebook group of just a community mm -hmm. of people to go vote for us every single day, telling people to create multiple different emails. And first of all, there was zero communication from the radio station on mm -hmm. this. Like, we're gonna be very honest and transparent about this. This experience was, we were so fortunate to be a part of it. The most stressful, mm -hmm. the most emotional situation. It was, like, it was just draining. It was completely draining. Every single yeah. day it was a grind. Vote, 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 vote. <laughs> it was just stressful. And it was so stressful because this is, con this is a contest for a baby. Yeah. For something that's so important to us. And financially, we we're not gonna be able to do that for a long time. We, like, we cannot afford 25,000. <laughs> and so this was a huge deal and so stressful in that it meant so much to us for so many different reasons. Yeah. And it wasn't just winning a contest for a trip or- No, it was, it was so much bigger. winning a family. Yeah. And, and so it was just really stressful because we would contact the radio station, the people doing it, there was just zero information. Mm -hmm. Like the voting system went down multiple times. And a lot of our people were on the times that it was breaking down. So we lost so many votes. Mm -hmm. And then um, it's like one day, oh, we were like in the top two. Mm -hmm. The next day we were like out of the top five because the mm -hmm. top five that won the voting moved on to the mm -hmm. final round where we interview with the infertility specialist about who actually wins the contest. So you had to make sure you were in the top five. Yeah. And then somehow new couples were popping up on the voting system on some days. Mm -hmm. It was a mess. So if any of you live yeah. in Utah and want to do that it contest, was... I don't know if it's worth stressful. it. <laughs> it's so stressful. Um, like thinking about it stresses me out. You yeah. can probably tell because I'm getting like on it. <laughs> <laughs> but flash forward, we made it into top five. Yeah. Did we made the, the top five voting. Interviewing process. Yeah, we did went through that. And then didn't win. So there was five couples. We met with the infertility specialist, told them mm -hmm. about Shan's story. Did not win. Granted, before this, Shan hasn't gone to the doctor. We haven't done any mm -hmm. appointments. Like we really didn't know her situation currently. Because, Besides what the doctors have told me. Yeah, because they told her there's no chance. So like, mm -hmm. why would Shannon waste her time and all this money going to specialists when mm -hmm. she knows what she has to do anyway? Plus, if you talk to any OBGYN like we did after, she was like, yeah, you're probably going to have to donor rate, which we'll go over in a minute. But mm -hmm. so we didn't win, mm -hmm. which was, we were like, okay, that's fine. So like right? we were okay with not yeah. winning. But we started getting bills from the contest. The contest told us that these interviews with the, the, uh, the specialist. infertility specialists were free. But then we were trying to get billed for them. So this it just added more stress, mm -hmm. it added more, and they they the said, money. yeah. And 
We, nothing in the contract said that we would have to pay to enter the contest. No. So I emailed them, and luckily that all got cleared up. But also they told us, okay, the winner's going to be announced. Tune into the radio station. Mm -hmm. Yet there was already a couple there. They didn't tell us that a couple was already there. So you have all these couples mm -hmm. live on the radio listening, hoping, but then they're sitting talking about this couple that's already there. So it was just, it was a mess. But yeah. <laughs> it was a mess. It's a cool thing. It could just be more organized. <laughs> yeah. I mean, our whole thing is about being transparent and yeah. I mean, if you want to do the contest, that's great. And if other contests go on, but it was just no, it is so stressful. It's definitely stressful and it's draining. And uh, yeah, oh, it's a lot. But it's a lot. Jump forward to something more positive yes. is we went and did our first appointment with our OB that's now on the same day we lost the contest. Yes. On the same day that we lost. And so we went in there and I was crying because mm -hmm. we got into this room and there's pictures of babies because it's in it's in an, oh it's yeah. an OBGYN office yeah. like so it's where the babies, babies have. And there's people that's pregnant and I just I remember crying and our doctor Dr. Crossfield was like what's going on so we told her about the contest and everything she's like well we're gonna we're gonna check you and do some tests and and just go from there <laughs>